Good morning everyone or afternoon or evening whenever you decide to watch this video. If you did click on this video, thank you. Um, my name is Christine and I am working on training my physical and spiritual fitness. Um, if you have seen my previous videos, you know I've been working on tweaking my plan, just finding out what works for me and what works for somebody who struggles with food, uh, who leans on food for comfort, all that kind of stuff. Um, I'm trying to find the best lighting here, but we are outside at the park right now. So it's a little difficult, but I just figured it would be a good time to update you guys. Um, as far as the last kind of week or so went with, you know, fine tuning what I was doing, um, it was okay, but I'm still struggling with the lack of structure and something I had not told you guys I was hoping to but did not get to was I went on a sabbatical. That's what I am currently doing right now. Um, I'm without my husband. He has to work, but I am staying with my in-laws with the girls. Ariella, say hi. Hi. Evelyn, say hi. Hi. Um, so I'm at their house just kind of trying to uh, break away and give myself a kickstart. I know that things won't be as controlled when I get home. I'll go back to the normal things that I have to do, the normal responsibilities, all of that kind of stuff, the distractions, you know, so on and so forth. Um, but I think what I've learned through all this is it's not so much the structure and the restriction, I guess you could say, or... Um, you know, any other kind of diet things. It's not so much that that I think causes us so much trouble and such a cycle that goes on and on. It's not as much that as it is our mental state. Um, I think that's really huge. When you decide to, you know, go off your diet and eat a dessert, um, if you have a better mental state of, you know, it was so-and-so's birthday. I had a piece of cake and I'm just going to continue moving forward and, um, you know, just move on, on with it. Then restricting that on a normal basis isn't so difficult. But when you put this huge guilt on it of, I failed, I can't do this. I'll never be able to do this. Um, I'm not going back, yada, yada, yada. When you put that kind of mindset along with those restrictions or with those parameters, um, I think that's what causes us issues. So I'm learning a lot as far as my mental health goes, as far as all of that is. And, um, you know, also not putting my worth in how I look and on the scale and all those things. But I think that as far as while I'm here, I do have kind of the perfect environment. Um, so I am going to be doing some more things. Hi. Yeah, say hi. Um, that my... Uh, grandmother-in-law and uh, mother-in-law have kind of um, set out just a plan that they're doing also as far as um, intermittent fasting, trying to avoid certain foods, certain things that are just good to uh, reboot the body, reboot um, metabolism and all that kind of stuff. So it is going back to the restrictions and, and so on and so hi. forth. But hi, but like I said, I'm really working on my mental state how I address certain things, how I feel after I might have made a slip up, um, all that kind of stuff so that I can still do good things for my body but not feel, hi, but not feel the guilt and failure that goes along with it. So that's where I'm at now. I know it'll be different when I get home, but I've got three weeks here and I'm really tr hoping to make some progress just so that I can prove to myself that I am capable of doing this, not having any excuses that I have physical issues or, you know, whatever it might be that is blocking me. It's just myself and my mindset and so that I can use those tools when I get home um, and implement, you know, similar things into my daily schedule. So anyway, that's where I'm at. I just wanted to update you guys. I hope you're all doing well and I hope to see you and I hope to see progress in my next video. Bye.